my stuff in wearing being lopsided. Hey, listen. Okay. <laughs> Hey everyone, it is me Loma Sasho and today we are going to be doing a different type of video that I've never done before and it's going to involve Oh! Somebody! Oh! He no. needs some milk! My hair. <laughs> so if you don't know, I've been natural for quite a few years and I am going to be trying a new product today. It is the Aunt Jackie's Curl and Coil Curl La La Defining Curl Custard. I went to Ross and Burlington yesterday and I found this at Ross. Found this and I was like, I really want to try it. I tried one of Aunt Jackie's uh, products before and it worked fairly well. I'll actually show a clip of what it looked like. It curled my hair really well and it was a curling gel, I believe. Um, it was really nice. I have, from what I could tell, I have high porosity hair, which means that my hair absorbs water like... <laughs> soaks it up i just thought of the reference uh it soaks it up like a sponge long live the sponge <laughs> it does not play it loves moisture it loves being moisturized and wet so yeah i got this for 7.99 and it originally sells for ten dollars online um so yeah i'm going to try this and it is really cute i love the color it's purple and purple is my favorite color of all time this is the 18 ounces which sells for ten dollars which is not bad so it's cheap and affordable and we're going to try it i'm going to smell it and it says it's for natural curls and coils and waves but i'm going to smell it because i love having my hair smell really good oh that smells so good um it smells like i don't know how to explain it but it smells really good this is the consistency it is very nice it feels spreadable it smells so good i don't understand like what can really compare to it i smelled this smell before though it is um it says say goodbye to frizz and i have quite a bit of frizz if you cannot tell um i've had these braids in for way too long oh it says enriched with shea butter and olive oil it's probably the shea butter is what i'm smelling I was thinking shea butter but I wasn't sure but it smells like another product that I've used in the past. I want to say it smells like an older product that the formula has changed so I cannot identify exactly what it is but it's most likely the shea butter. Um, so yeah, let's read the directions on how to use this. Directions say, uh, apply generously to wet or dry hair, gently massage into scalp and work through the hair roots to end. Um, style as desired. Okay, it says for tight, scrunchy curls or coils, blow dry hair on a light setting for, uh, with a diffuser. For enriched, stretch, bouncy curls or waves, apply and then finger style hair into place while blow drying on a light setting and allow hair to air dry. It says all that. I personally don't really like putting heat on my hair. I only put heat on my hair like a few times a year, probably like two, three times a year at the most. Um, and I use like three heat protectants. So I personally, I have a diffuser, but I don't think it's the best. I'm trying to find a better diffuser so I can do quicker hairstyles. I typically like to let my hair air dry. So this is what it looks like inside. Oh my God, please do not spill. You know how many people I see on TikTok and they have a product and they do that too much and it spills? But yeah, it looks really good. Um, it says to apply to dry or wet hair. I'm going to go in the shower and I will see you guys in one second. I'm back. I just got out of the shower. I put my hair up in a shirt. Um, whenever my brother gets new white shirts from like Hanes or whatever it is, I just put it up in there. I'm currently looking for a new type of way of wrapping up my hair. Um, because the shirt works well, but I feel like if I had a professional or something that was made for hair, I feel like it would be better. So I'm going to take this down. So I just took down my hair. My hair might shrink a little bit, but that's okay. My hair likes water or moisture. Um, you can see there is a lot of frizz. Yeah, you see that? There's a lot of frizz. These braids stayed in way too long. I have a water bottle filled with water. This will be down in the description below. I have a detangling brush, which is my best tool. I'm going to need this because my hair has been in braids for quite some time. I also have a rat tail comb. This will also be in the description below. And it comes down to a point and has a metal uh, tail. I also have two banana clips. I can't find the rest of them. I bought a whole set, but I can't find them. But I do have two banana clips because that's what would be what I need. Um... Typically, I only part right here, and then I might part over here. I doubt it. I'm probably just going to keep the same type of braid sections. They're all pretty much cornrows, and then they just end up being 
in braids or plaits. I might have to moisturize my hair with some water just to bring back some life into it because it says dry or wet hair and my hair I want it to be wet. So yeah. Enjoy this time lapse of me undoing my hair. So now that I have the first two sections out, um, I like to divide up my hair not into like three or four sections. I like to divide it up into mini multiple sections because I have a whole bunch of hair. So this is the first section, right? I don't really care about the part. The main part that I care about is the part right here. So I cleaned that up. And yeah, I'm just going to put the rest of my hair back in the ponytail. The main concern I have is that I bought a product before, and I talked about this on my TikTok, but I bought a product before that messed up the quality of my hair, and I bought that from Burlington. The product is supposed to be like a white-ish color, and it was yellow-ish orange <laughs> and I used it thinking, you know, it should be good, and it made my hair frizzier. So I still slightly struggle from that product but it's not as bad you see how it's like curly and then it gets a little bit frizzy towards the end i still have a little bit of effects from that product but i'm hoping that this product anti jackie i hope you come through girl um but i did look online and this is the right color it is supposed to be a purple so hopefully it's good and yeah let's try this and i'm going to as i said a generous amount i'm going to put that in my hair that is a generous amount. And who knows, I might wear it out. I'm going back in with a little bit more for, they said from root to ends, which I was doing that, I kind of forgot, but we're just going to go from the root down And I'm going to add a little bit more for the ends. She said a generous amount, so I'm going in with a generous amount. And make sure to get your edges if you have edges. Shade. <laughs> so sorry. I'm sorry if that was shady, but if you still have edges, which I have edges, I have baby hairs, right? We see that. Um, if you have edges or baby hairs, make sure to give them some love and moisturize them because your hair, you don't only need to moisturize the root of your hair where it's growing out. You need to moisturize all your hair, which a lot of people are now finding out on TikTok, which I'm kind of surprised by. The hair that grows out of your head is dead, but you still need to moisturize it or else it's going to break off because it's dry. Um, this... Um... Ma'am... Ma'am, I'm raking, I'm finger raking my hair right now. Just trying to make sure that my curls will be good. And you know what? I might not do a twist out or whatever. I might just wear my hair out like this and put it up in a pineapple because this is cute. Do you see that? Auntie Jackie, I wish I could give you a hug right now. Girl, you came the all the way fuck through. She came through, guys. Okay, so the front of my hair, let's make sure that we're getting it from the root. I'm just going like this. That is defined. Do you see that? Wow! It's a little bit frizzy down here, so I'm going to put a little bit more product towards the end of my hair. 
Yo, I did not expect my hair to go off this hard. I'm gonna put a little bit towards the ends because the ends are a little bit frizzy. And I'm going to clump it, really work it through. And then I'm going to finger rake. And I'm going to rake it in smaller sections just to make sure that my hair will clump the way it's supposed to. Oh my god. Sorry mom if you're watching this, I know you don't like it when I say that. Um, <laughs> hi mom, I love you. Um, yeah, this is crazy! This is literally how I love. Oh my god, I love, I love, I love. I'm not going to do a length check because I really don't care. My hair, most likely when it dries, is going to shrink back up. But we're going to do this side. And I need to moisturize my hair just a little bit. I am shook it. Generous amount. Root. To the ends. That is crazy. What in the world? I did not expect Auntie Jackie to go off like this. And the thing is, the first time I used her product, the hair gel, it worked really well. My hair just clumped up and it was beautiful. It was really beautiful and really cute, I'm not gonna lie. And I, I did not expect her to go all the way off like this. Um, on this side, I'm going to do the with the comb I just want to see how the comb will react or finger raking it through your hair is better oh my god I don't mind this but I feel like it's too separated I like the look of finger raking so i'm just going to rake it into my hair um if you like more defined individual curls you could do that but i really want to try and figure out what type of hair quality or curl pattern i have i think i'm in a b to c range um so yeah i'm not 100 percent sure if anyone is an expert on defining hair curls or figuring out what hair pattern or curl pattern is please let me know because I have no real clue um me and my brother tried identifying it before and we kind of have a range of what we think it is and I think it's a B um to C range I think it's a combination of both but I'm not a hundred percent sure I'm not a million percent sure I'm gonna put a little bit more on this side just feel like it's not as moisturized. If you guys like the ASMR, please let me know. Hopefully there is ASMR. I don't know how the good this camera will be with ASMR. I'm gonna put a little bit more on the ends and work that way up. Wow. Wow. Holy crap. I don't think I've ever seen my hair look this good straight out of the shower and like product in it. Can you guys see how that is looking? And look at the ends. Oh my god. Look at the ends. Girl. Auntie Jackie, I love you. <laughs> also, I am not sponsored by anyone. Um, yeah, I'm not sponsored. I forgot to say that in the beginning of the video, but I'm not sponsored by anyone. I'm just going to banana clip this over here. And I'm going to take out these two sections and then I will time lapse it.
I think Auntie Jackie, I'm so happy I went out yesterday and bought this because this honestly is most likely 100% a game changer for my hair. And I'm usually the type of person who just wears protective styles, um, you know, just to make sure that my hair is safe and not getting damaged and stuff like that. Um, yeah. <laughs> But this is honestly gonna make me want to wear out my hair more. I've never seen my hair be so like beautifully defined and it's drying really well on this side and it doesn't seem, from what I could tell, it doesn't seem to be getting really short. My hair typically gets really short whenever it is air drying. But this is keeping the length. I mean not the full length but you know, it's keeping a lot of the length which is really crazy for me. Um, this is all non-texturized, non-relaxed. This is all new growth. Um, I did not do the big chop. I always wanted to do the big chop, but I cut off the ends that were damaged and all the dyed ends and everything. So this is just my hair. Um, the quality of my hair has changed because I did perm my hair for many years when I was growing up and when I was in college with my bachelor's degree I was natural and then I decided to perm my hair and dye it for my graduation photos so yeah I will put on the screen exactly how long I've been natural since then um I've changed the way I done my hair over the years I used to blow dry my hair a lot and get it to be somewhat straight and then I would put um, as I am curling custard in it and co-wash it and that was really nice but I feel like I didn't want any more heat damage so now I go the heatless route with my hair um, so yeah this is looking fantastic and amazing um, I'm loving the curls and the curls are curling they are popping I like to see how products make my hair air dry because when I do try a lot of products it brings my hair to about like my chin length. I'm going to let the camera recharge and I am going to do the rest of my hair and then I will be back. So I did the rest of my hair off camera but I wanted to show you guys the back section of my hair. Um, it's still curling really well but the back of my hair is super thick and it's a slightly not as loose curl pattern as the front of my hair so I just wanted to show you guys that and I'm still working it through but you can see the curls are clumping together so beautifully I will turn around hopefully you guys will be able to see I have my phone and I'm going to try and look and see if I can see what it looks like So I took out about that much of a dent. I know you can't really tell, but if you saw how it was in the beginning, there was quite a bit. Now I could do this and it's not gonna slide or come out. So my hair is fully done and my hair type, like I said, I'm not 100% sure. If anyone can identify what type of hair curl pattern I have, I would appreciate it. Obviously you don't need to microanalyze and be like zooming in and being like, what is that? How much curl is there? How much coil is there? You don't need to do that. That's okay. I'm not expecting that. But if you are somebody who has hair like mine or you know someone who has hair like mine, please let me know what curl pattern they have and put water in my hair. Usually it scrunches up, but this is really holding some length to it. The front of my hair is pretty much dry. It's not 100% dry. So we will see how that goes. But yeah, I'm loving it so much. And all it was was Aunt Jackie's product and some water. And my fingers, obviously, for breaking it in. But yeah, I like it a lot. I think it's really cute. And if you have a section that might be a little bit frizzy, you just go back in with the curling product and you just rake it through again. Um, that's what I did. I did it for like a little tiny piece right over here because it was a little bit frizzy. Um, but yeah, I don't mind frizz. Frizz is okay. I'm not trying to change my curls. I'm trying to enhance my curls and define them into what they're supposed to be. I really just want to have products that will work for me and I know what will work for me. And I think this has to be one of the products that really work for me. And yeah, you know, I'm in love. I will come back when my hair is more dry and you know, it is Super Bowl night and it is 9.13 at night. So 
I will show you guys later on. All right, love you guys, bye. So it is currently 12.24 at night. So over here on my hair, kind of like at the crown by my ear, right here is not dry, it's still wet. Um, my hair did shrink, which is okay. So I really do need to invest in a diffuser because I need my hair to be dry. I'm gonna have to section my hair in like sections and then I'm going to have to let my hair air dry that way because I have to go to sleep soon and I don't have time to let my hair just do its own thing. It's a lot of hair. So I'm going to use a hair pick. If you know, you know. Yes. I've never really been one to use an afro pick, but I bought them because I know they're good for like fluffing out the hair. Like you see how the top is now fluffed out. Over here is not dry. The outer ends are dry but the intersection of my hair is not dry. Yeah, that's what it looks like. And I will show you guys the back. So this is the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and follow hey, me on all my other bits of social media. It will mean a lot to me. And let me know what type of content you guys would like to see from me. And these type of videos should be coming out every Friday. I'm going to try my best. So I will be having three videos a week. And yeah, I'm going to try my best to keep up with it. <laughs> I'm super excited for the new content. And thank you so much for being here on my first hair video on YouTube. And yeah, I will see you guys later. Love you guys. Bye.